Okay, YouTube, how are you doing? Well, I'm going to do a little review at the moment. Um, it's a combination review. Well, it's mostly just on this new microscope that I got. Because I did buy one for 31 bucks off eBay, which didn't quite work out how I expected because it didn't have a lot of... It didn't have any focus features, really, and... I may end up feeling with it later, but it's just... It's too, the amount of shit that I would have to go through just to configure it to get it where I want it. And the measurement software is not compatible with Windows 7. Either is the software for this one, but this one actually has an auto, has a focus knob on it, which is the plus side. Now, it's a National Geographic one, designed like that, and you can actually put slides into it too. It comes with its own little box of slides, as a matter of fact. Here, I'll just get them out. A little box of slides. Can actually see those. It comes with a little block box of slides. Now those box of slides are pretty cool. They've got the uh, house house fly leg. Um, come on, little little bits of these that didn't actually stuck on to glass. And they look pretty good. The actual unit itself. It is plastic, but it's still good for its design, and it's not. It's not um, it's not perfect, but at the same time, it's not crappy either. I don't think it's crappy anyway. I think it's got a very similar camera to, camera to the one that I've got up there. The camera might be a little better on the I don't know, but anyway, my point is, it's got an autofocus knob, which was pissing me off to be honest. Just trying to get focus and do stuff like that. So I've got the autofocus knob, I'm able to focus on anything on things and I've got the I've got some software. I did have initial teething problems with the software with this too. It's actually not compatible with Windows 8, but I got some software that actually works with it and I'm able to take photos and images of stuff at good resolutions. Uh, the drawback time on this is it's twenty, goes all the way up to eighty, oh no, sorry, it's twenty and then it goes all the way up to three hundred and fifty times magnification. So it starts at 20, goes all the way, starts at 20, then goes to 80, then goes to 350. So that, that's basically the magnification it's got built into it. It's also got a button on the top which you can turn the light on. It's got a light feature, which the other one did as well. And then a little light on the bottom. It's, a lot, it's just a lot easier to muck around with something like that because it's got the focus on and everything else. It's just so much easier to see things. I was actually able to use it for the purpose it was meant for. Um, which was rather frustrating with the other one. It was a little, uh, I don't know, look, to get the whole thing damn well working was a pain in the ass. I don't know whether it was just the software or whether it was just the driver that was the issue. Uh, just the, it had no freaking focus. It had no manual focus at all. This, on the other hand, does actually have some type of manual focus on it, so you can actually see what the fuck you're doing. Um, which is good. It's a plus side anyway. It's got the extra buttons. It's got bus and zoom. But the software that I managed to get my hands on anyway is basic software. Uh, image software. It zooms in and out anyway. It's got a zoomable part of it anyway. Um, I have to work on see if I can get some. I'll work on it and see if I can get the, the software to give me a bit of, bit, bit of a higher resolution. So it's pretty cool. It works. Um, as in respect to it working, um, it would be nice if the software that originally came with it was actually Windows 8 compatible. That would be spec fucking tacular, but it seems no, it's not. It's just a big pain in the ass, which is rather annoying to be honest. Um, but that's about the only downside to it. it, it everything else, it, it actually does, does it as it was intended to do, uh, and it does a good, pretty good job so far. I've got a pretty good look, pretty good look at housefly, um, housefly leg, which was cool. Uh, what else? Um, so I'm selling some stuff on Gumtree too, as in combination of that. I'm selling an old mic, I'm selling an Xbox, and I'm selling an Ava Media device, recording device as a capture device basically. It only does component though, it doesn't actually do HDMI. Uh, I'm also doing, aside from the mic itself, what am I also doing? I'm doing some other stuff. Uh, HD DVDs, just need a HD DVD player to play it. And I think that's about it at the moment. I'm, I'll probably end up listing another machine on there at some point, but I haven't got around to actually building and putting it together and running it through. Well, I've run a bit, bits and pieces through, through 
bits and pieces of it through a tiny testing process. I've pretty much been doing, for the last few weeks, I've been doing um, a little bit of repairs. I, I, I've got a virus written computer and I had to pretty much clean it up and just make it nice and neat. <clears throat> working now as well with Windows Vista, the best operating system I work with at times, but uh, it wasn't a real, really, really, really big issue. But obviously, um, the person had tried to get rid of the spyware before that, and uh, you know, it didn't quite work out the way they expected, so they brought it to me. I fixed it up, got it all cleared up now, it's all cleared, and I put some pop up blockers on there as well to stop any type of, um, you yeah, know, generally any type of malware from getting on there. Uh, I didn't actually get the chance to put the choice, normal choice of any virus that I put on there, mainly because it wouldn't install at the time. Uh, I tried a different, I had to try a different antivirus. I think it was mainly because it was Windows Vista. Windows Vista can be a bit flaky with some pieces of software, especially particular software, I type of software I like to use. Um, uh, Windows 7 prefers all new ones. I've never had a problem installing on Windows 7. I only seem to have a problem my computer, I don't know. It was weird, because I, 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 I ran the computer through several malware scans with a lot of different scanners, uh, including malware lights, and they found a fair few things and it got rid of a fair amount of stuff. Uh, but at the end I couldn't actually put the intended antivirus on, which was that one, so I ended up putting on a vast. Which a vast isn't too bad, it could be better. It's not the most perfect antivirus system, but at the same time it's not the worst either. I've seen worse out there, trust me. Um, what else have I done? As you can see, I've mucked around with these. These are quite cool. And you can actually make your own slides if you want to later. So I've sort of been mucking around with that a bit. Um, as you know from my recent channel updates, uh, I'm now on Twitch TV. Twitch.tv. I'm using a blue ice or blue ice ice uh, snowball mic, which seems to be giving me pretty good throughput with most of my audio. My audio quality has been pretty gnarly so far. I haven't got many many really big complaints at the moment about it. I haven't found it too bad for my audio stuff and I've been able to get pretty clear most of the time when I'm doing, I'm doing commentaries for different things as well as doing commentaries uh, in combinants. It's, it's just basically, it's, it's made things a little easier in that retrospective. Um, I think on par, it's sort of on par with my last mic. My last mic was pretty good but I just wanted something a little more substantial, you know, just just, um, not that there's anything wrong with my last mic, my last mic was a fairly good mic, it was an MXL Tempo, which is actually the same type of design mic as this one, uh, except this one's just, this one's, uh, Blue, which is, is a brand that is more regularly used by most people who do podcasting and everything else of that nature, so, you know, it's basically gives it more oomph to it in some ways. Um, anyway, because I've got that for sale for 60 bucks. For sale, I've got my Xbox 360 for sale for 100, and 150 on my Ava Media, and 150 on my HD DVD, DVD, HD DVDs. Those, it's a collection of about 40, I think. There's about 40 in total. There's a Star Trek box set in there too. To be honest, uh, at some point I'm going to replace them with Blu-rays, most likely in, in most cases. So yeah, that should be pretty good. Um, what else? Aside from that, I've just been doing my usual channel stuff, just trying to keep up with most of the technology that's coming out. Some of the interesting builds that some of the other channels are doing is cool as well. I'm going to be doing it. I'm going to be doing a cheaper reconditioned gaming build at, at, at a later date, obviously, and I have to do some recordings on that. I'll work that out at a later date, obviously. Um, a bit of a blowout on my computer because it's getting a bit dusty lately. Uh, aside from that, just chilling, detoxing a bit. I, about nine days worth of detoxing, pretty much. Yeah, it's about nine days. Yeah, nine days worth of detoxing, and I'm feeling pretty good. Just staying away from just alcohol for a while, just a couple of months. While. I'm going to try and stay away from it a couple of months if I can help it. Um, just to detox my system, really. Make me feel a little bit more detoxed and decrapified, as well. Um, aside from that, Pretty much just a combination. I've been playing a few games on and off. Uh, I played Left 4 Dead on my Twitch channel to test it out. 
Also played a lot. Been playing a lot of GTA 4 on my Twitch channel as well. Uh, Twitch to Twitch TV. It's Fallen Gaming 949, which it's pretty cool. So far, I haven't had any major issues, but I do have moments where I literally, where my bandwidth does take a deep, deep fucking dive into the ocean. Unfortunately, that's just my bandwidth and that's just my connection. And sometimes things shit happens. Hmm. Unfortunately, I can't do much about that up until the point that they actually get a better connection in this area. Which is, I mean, you know, ADSL 2, ADSL 1 is not the greatest connection to be trying to try to, to try and do streaming with. Uh, it's okay, but it's not great. Um, so, I've been doing, I've been testing pretty much Twitch TV lately. I did a lot of recordings with it. Uh, I did a recording with my new mic as well, testing my new mic, seeing how it sounds and how it comes out. Um, so from my new mic, I've also just been stopping the stream, signing the stream, I reinstalled the software. Yeah, I've got those off for a couple of times just to get things sort of back in perspective because it was, so occasionally it was crashing for, for some stupid reason. I couldn't figure out why it was crashing. It seemed weird that it was, but I mean, I don't know. Crashes happen. Software crashes and glitches do happen on occasion. Um, I also was having a problem with my um, my other screen lagging for some reason, but I, I finally sort of worked out that it was something to do with the interface between the two monitors I was having. So I switched both my monitors over. One's on HDMI and the other's on the DisplayPort. But saying that, my DisplayPort, I, I, I don't know. It seems the fact that if you've got an extra monitor hooked up with my Samsung 4K monitor, it does not seem to like the fact that you have an extra monitor hooked up. That seems to be an issue. Um, I don't know whether it, I mean, I, I'm mean, either tracing it back to being the monitor itself or it's tracing back to being the S, the fact that I've got SLI and I've got um, I've got two card I've got two cards in there and, and I'm running SLI from, from Nvidia, so it's either an Nvidia problem or it's a, or it's a particular 4K monitor problem that I'm having. It could be related to that. It could be I, I can't trace it down because to be honest, most of the time, or, most of the time I'm getting the feeling that it's something to do with the actual Nvidia drivers. And it has been driving me a little potty in some ways, but then sometimes it'll go away, sometimes it'll come back, and then sometimes it just it just won't appear in front of me. It just won't come up at all. Uh, it seems intermittent, so it sort of got me scratching my head as to what it could possibly be. But at the same time, I think I'd more trace it back to actually being the the fact that I'm running SLI, and a lot of people are having issues with SLI, especially when it comes to 4K uh, scaling and such. And then you add the second monitor in the whole thing and you know yeah it's not going to make it's not going to exactly make things better uh, I also did notice that the lag seemed to come from the fact that my start menu on my second screen or the menu going across uh, when I have certain like say I have a menu on one screen I haven't I have no menu on the other um, it seems to it seems to be a little issue like, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, I, ha I have something on the set. I mean, okay, it shouldn't matter. I mean, to be honest, i got two 770 GTXs. It shouldn't really be a big issue for my cards to be able to run 4K with an extra 1080p monitor beside it. But I don't know, sometimes it is. But then sometimes it seems okay, and you just sit there and you scratch it and you go, what the fuck was that shit? Because you can't work out for the life of me what that's going on there. But saying that I am trying to run, what? Well, I'm trying to run basically... Uh, an extra 1080p monitor, so that, that ends up being almost like 5k or something like that in total. So I guess, you know, that's that's, that's pretty probably pretty hefty for a 770 uh, GTX. And, I mean, a lot of the newer cards, the 970 is more designed for running those higher resolutions. But saying that, the 770 was stocked as a card that would, do, would be able to run 4k. So, you know, um... I think that's a little shitty of NVIDIA to sort of put their 970s or their 980s down as the big class cards for those things, because I mean it's it's shitty to the part of the people who, who invested in a 770 really, uh, I personally feel. Um, it just, yeah, I, I don't get it. I mean, you know, I, I invested in those two cards at the time, at that given time period. And, you know, I mean, I wasn't I wasn't in a major rush. I mean, look, I'm not in a major rush to go out and buy the new cards either because, you know, the new cards are probably going to have some teething issues too. Same as the old cards. I mean, even some of the old cards still have teething issues. But depending on the card, of course, you're using it. And depending on the circumstance, of course. 
But yeah, no, look, it just it that was a little bit a bit of an annoyance on my part, and it did annoy the fuck out of me. Uh, I did get a little pissed with that. So, I mean, I think video, a video could have handled it a little better. There was another thing, too, as well. They, um, well, what did they do? They, right, it's the scaling factor for Watch Dogs. Which, to be honest, Watch Dogs is trying to scale it at 4K. It just, ugh, it's just shitty. I mean, every other game that I throw at my system, I mean, there was, there was a few other older games, and I'm not denying they're older games, so they're not going to be as hefty on the system, but... Like, I don't know, you would think they would have it optimised for 4K if it was designed to run on 4K. Uh, at the end of it, you just sit there and you just scratch it and you think, what the fuck was going on there? When they were thinking that, I don't know, it's, it could be part of the Ubisoft as well, being part of the issue as well. So. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much, thank you very much, YouTube. i got my Twitch TV channel, which is Fallen Gaming 949, which occasionally I'll, I'll get on there and just, you know, have a bit of a game with uh, Xbox 360, in, you know, in combination do that stuff, which it keeps me busy, keeps me going. Uh, so what have we got to, uh, here? Well that's, um, Twitch TV, my Twitch TV channel, subscribe to me, uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube, obviously, and if you want to follow me on, um, Twitch TV from time to time, you can do that too. Because I will be getting on there from time to time. Uh, it's sort of weird, like sometimes I'll, 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 when I have heaps of time, it depends. I mean, and lately I've been uh, repairing client computer. Yesterday, the day before, I was repairing a client's computer. Pretty much viruses lately, that's all I've... I haven't had a big challenging, I haven't had any big challenging stuff, and nobody's really wanted to build any particular types of gaming computers at this point in time. It's mostly been people just, you know, well, you random antivirus stuff. You know, Trojans, Adaware, people just t t being silly. I mean, the truth of the matter is that in that entire situation, um, people are, I mean, the essence of context, you do something bad in real life, you're going to have consequences. It's the same if you do something bad on a computer or you do something that's out of the normal on a computer, you're going to have consequences for those actions. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's beside the point. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe. Stay tuned, I've got more coming up obviously, it's going to be probably me cleaning out my computer a little bit, in combinance of cleaning my computer out a little bit, I'll probably do some videos of what it actually looks, the inside looks like. Uh, what else do I want to do? Uh, clean the inside out of it, fix it up, do everything else. I will show you the build that I'm doing as well, I'm going to be giving some of that, recording a little bit of that here and then, show you exactly how it works and shit like that. Then, well, so I'm waiting for a lens kit to arrive in the mail. That's something I want to Yeah, I'm waiting for a lens kit for my, for my camera with a, a different wide angle lenses and stuff. And these, these, obviously, this is, well, this is a, sort of a wide angle lens, but basically it's a more wide angle lens I'm going to be getting. It's going to be zooming distance as well, combination. I'm getting, anyway, I'm getting a set of it, lenses. Um, waiting for those in the mail. The other thing that I am waiting for is a 4 terabyte hard drive which will be going to my rig. Uh, that'll be most likely a... Most likely it'll be just a combination of... Um, I'll probably use it as a bit, of, a bit of a recording drive. In combination of using it as, as a recording drive, I will possibly use it for other stuff as well. A bit of data storage in combiners, but... I'd probably try to mainly use it as a recording drive because it's a lot of capacity to have, especially for different videos and stuff. Um, now I'll end up by replacing one of my green drives, one of my green two, 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 two terabyte drives, most likely with it. Uh, whatever data's on that, it will go onto the four terabyte, and then I might use the four terabyte a bit more for the other stuff as well. So stay tuned, I've got more coming up obviously over the next few weeks, just doing my random stuff, you know, doing random bits and pieces I feel like doing, so stay tuned, I've got more coming up, I've got heaps of shit, hopefully I'll try to, try my best to give you the best possible experience if you've got any comments or suggestions please make them in the comments in the comments of the suggestion section uh, yeah feel free, not a problem alright, thank you very much and uh, catch you, bye